forgot one t-shirt so I just gotta wash it. <laughs> I'm gonna also, wear it. Yeah, then it cools you down as mm -hmm. well. So. Two birds with one stone. That's what I say. I can hold it. This is the accurate one. This is the real one right here. Ah, look, a pigeon. Oh, he's not happy. What is this demon tree? Look at this. This is a tree that's had some... had a troubled past. And now it... has all these defenses. Why'd you touch it? Got some Korean maybe written here. There's actually many South Koreans who do the trail. Um, not sure why. Someone told me because there was some movie or book or something that got popular there, and so lots of people from there do it. But also look, the region is called Castilla y Leon. But in all the signs, we keep seeing the Castilla part covered out because I guess the Leonians aren't happy about being grouped in with this other region they want to be separate regions so there's little feuds going on who knows up yonder is the city of Leon and this is quite a big city on the on the route and from there it should only be maybe 300 left to Santiago. So it shouldn't be too much longer now. You excited, Catherine? Woohoo! No more walking. Well, here's where we're sleeping tonight. Big dorm. We're in a big city. Huh? You can turn around. Yeah. Well, this is Leon. A big popular place, it seems. What do you think of Leon, Catherine? Very big. Very big. Very busy. Many people outside eating their tacos. Yeah. Making their services. Their services. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting here eating, and we ate all our food. And Catherine says, "I'm still a little bit hungry. I'm gonna go get some chips." And so I was expecting her to come back with a small portion of chips. I sit and I wait and I wait, and she approaches me with this. <laughs> What is this? This is not a... It's grande. It's grande. I can see it's grande. It's much as grande. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah. While we sit eating our chips, <laughs> I can give you a little fact. Here in Lyon, according to UNESCO, apparently it is one of the first documented cases of parliamentary... Parliamentarism. Parliamentarism mm -hmm. was here in medieval times, in 1100 or something. She just looked this up. She doesn't <laughs> know that off by heart. Yeah, but now I know. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> 
This is a racist city. What are all these little Ku Klux Klan guys? What are these things? No, no, from Semana, Semana Santa. No, before Easter. They have big Looks parades. Looks an awfully lot like the KKK to me. The white ones, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what in tarnation are these little figures? You think the Ku Klux Klan got their ideas from this? But really, what are these things? What you doing? It's quite an old city, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess if it had a medieval yeah. parliament. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful walking around these streets. They have uh, a unique problem where they have... Oh, look, it's happening right now. They have lions crawling out of the drains, <laughs> out of the sewers. <laughs> Why is this a thing? You know, I thought we were doing pretty good. We were going pretty fast. Doing 35, 40 kilometers a day. I thought we were doing, you know, above average. But we keep seeing the same people again and again. And so I'm starting to doubt myself here. I mean, we're seeing 70 year olds in this ending up in the same place. <laughs> what? We're young and spry, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm really dreading going back to this overcrowded hostel. I miss my stone picnic bench. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, taking me down the dark alley. Right, looks like I'm about to be murdered and robbed. If you don't see me again, track down this woman. I was last seen with this woman leading me down a strange dark alleyway. I've had enough of these damn hostels. 5.30 in the morning. Why do you have to get up at 5.30? Not only that, why does it take you an hour to put away your sleeping bag? A full hour of rustling. But people have pajamas, honey. They have to change No, no, no. <laughs> I swear this person was putting away their sleeping bag for a full hour. I'm not happy. I can go three days without food. I can go a day without water. But if I keep getting a lack of sleep, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna go on a rampage through the hostels. She could go to sleep. And snoring. I have a clip of the snoring. Really? Yeah. So loud. <laughs> Three people all around in every direction, creating just a big <laughs> harmony of a frequency of snoring around me, shaking the bed. From now on, park benches, under the car, whatever I can find as long as I get actual sleep. We're making our way out of Leon. It, I think it shouldn't be much more than a week to Santiago. So this is the last stretch. And I think I'm excited for it to be over. I don't want to walk anymore. Especially in the Spanish heat. It's not a good combination. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Why are you making fun of my bread? <laughs> What's wrong with this? It's supposed to be square. <laughs> It has like um, triangular <laughs> Yeah, it's trapeze. special triangle bread. What's the problem? <laughs> no, it's okay. it's okay. It's okay. I'll accept it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 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 this is floppy on cheek. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You have to stretch it out again. Oh, this is good shaped bread. It's unique. Yeah? Yeah. It's creative. <laughs> How come it isn't what always shaped like this? Yeah, that's what we need in this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is such a funny bus stop. Look at this. This is like a sci-fi movie bus stop. What is this? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh no. a wonder for everyone. big maze. This is definitely a trap. We just continue going round and round. <laughs> 